Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Eternal Masters boxes and right now they are $175 on eBay as of this recording of this video, $170 on Mass Drop but you have to wait until like late December and $180 shipped to you on TCG Player. So uh, it's about let's say $170 for the cheapest price. Uh, distributors get them from anywhere between $100 or distributors are selling them anywhere between $120 and $130 a box. This was a set that came out at $300 a booster box. Now let's say it's around half, it's a little bit more than half. And there's not that much demand for it, there's not that much uh, hype around it. I mean the release of uh, talking to my friend who owns a store, it just kind of was under the table. It was like, oh cool, this is coming out, I'll order some to draft and I'll order some for my friends. But he didn't have people pre-order it. When it first came out, he had a ton of people pre-order it to the fact that he couldn't, he had to buy boxes from other stores around him to fulfill his pre-orders. This time around there was no pre-orders and it is largely due to the confidence uh, and there is a huge confidence issue from the store owners, at least my uh, the two store owners I know, and distributors and Wizards of the Coast of what they're going to do next. He doesn't want to carry too much of this stock because guess what comes out in a month? A for Revolt, right? That comes out in a month. So releasing Eternal Masters as a Christmas kind of gimmick, uh, although they have gift boxes. I bought a lot of gift boxes because I love storage. Gift boxes are amazing for storage, so I only purchased them for storage, not for the boost packs. They're not really a great value for boost packs, but for storage, they, they are really excellent boxes. But uh, back to the point. It is a bloodbath on Eternal Masters. If you want it, you can buy for 180 no problem all day long. I think on Dave and Adams, it was like 190 for Black Friday, but you can honestly get it on eBay, $175 shipped. Mass Drop is 170 plus shipping. It's only gonna get cheaper, right? It's only gonna get cheaper after Christmas, and it's only gonna get cheaper after we go to A for Re Revolt. A for Revolt will be a new set, it'll be a standard set, it'll be more popular. Eternal Ma when I think about what happened with Eternal Masters and the hype they built around it in the summertime, and how my local store wouldn't even sell it to me at 250. They wanted 260, 270, 280. Uh, you couldn't even draft it. People were just super hyped about it. And then you compare it to today, where you can get as many boxes as you want for 180 and people still don't care. Right? People don't care. Stores don't care they can get boxes for 120, 125. They're just gonna order a few and then just be like, whatever. So a interesting scenario is playing out where stores are not happy with the amount of stuff they have. At the local game store I go to, they just have back stock of inventory. They have just tons of this stuff just lying around. Like Eldritch Moon didn't sell that well. Uh, Shadows of Innistrad didn't sell that well. The uh, Kaladas showed somewhat well, um, and at the end of the day, just there's just just too much product. Like I cannot explain to you. He just has an inventory of product. He's not a Magic the Gathering store. He's a dude who orders like a few cases of everything, so he meets you know distributor costs, and then he can reduce the price even more. But he's sitting on tons of Magic inventory as a video game store that previously didn't do any magic at all. And none of it is moving. Kaladesh gift boxes take a lot of space, they don't move well. Kaladesh, um, the pre-release kits don't, didn't move. There's still tons of them. The fat packs are not moving. Eldritch Moon fat packs, which I love to death. I love this fat pack to death. You can get it for $25 on um, any pretty much anywhere. Uh, his store is 25 bucks for Eldritch Moon. I love this fat pack to death and I paid close to $40 for these fat packs you see behind me because I was like, oh, you know, a Liliana box. And you might think, oh, empty lines just going off artwork. What's wrong with that? Like the box is, you know, very pretty for a box. And I feel like, you know, the cards are very pretty. Like, and you have a very expensive planeswalker in the set. You do have to hit it or you will lose money, but that's about it. Um, I think the set is a lot better than uh, Kaladesh in my opinion, where you have to hit a masterpiece so you lose money. So anyway, uh, very interesting to see Eternal Masters and see that stores don't even want it. 
like at $125, my friend's store, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it because he's waiting for A for Revolt. And he doesn't know if he can move it at $180 a box. At $150 a box, he might not be able to move it. That's how, at least in our local area, which is highly competitive because it is Houston. Houston is, I think, one of the largest cities. I don't know. Someone put like in the comments, I want to say it is like the fifth largest city, but that sounds like, that sounds like, no. I think it's like the fourth. It's a large city, so there's lots of game stores. There's a very good geek culture in Houston, which says, you know, I four years ago, I didn't see it, but now I see it. Um, and... Ugh, highly competitive area. So anyway, bye guys.